Now, one of the reasons New Hampshire is the focus of so much political advertising this year is because our congressional races are being closely watched and fought. WMUR's political scoops James Pindle explains why. Yeah, I know. There are a lot of political ads on this station. There are ads for the U.S. Senate contest, governor, and others. It's probably hard to figure out who's running for what and what it's all about. But this does mean something really good. Your voice matters. Let me show you how truly special we are here in New Hampshire, especially when it comes to our two congressional races. To remind you, there are 435 members of the U.S. House that are up for re-election every two years. Of those, only 5% or 31 seats are actually considered competitive this year. Two of those 31 are the pair here in New Hampshire. And it turns out the reason why you're seeing so many ads is that national parties care about us up here in the Granite State. This is supposed to be a good year for Republicans, so Democrats are spending to protect incumbents like Carol Shea Porter and Andy Custer. Republicans are on the offense and want to increase their majority by 11 seats, which would give them the largest Republican majority since the Truman administration. Now, they will probably need to win one of the two races here in New Hampshire to meet that goal. And this week, the National Republican Campaign Committee began running advertisements to help Frank Inta, but they have yet to do anything to help Mayor Linda Garcia against Custer. Of course, there still are two and a half weeks left. For WMUR News 9, I'm James Pendle.